Hallelujah. And that's the most important thing. That our souls are rapture ready. Hallelujah. Mighty God. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. You're great. You're wonderful. You're kind. We exalt you. We bow before you. Heaven and earth adore you. You're an awesome God. Awesome God. Awesome God. Hallelujah. And tonight we're going to pray. And tonight we have an evangelist evangelistic service it's not just come to sing and worship and have a good time and go home but souls will be delivered tonight hallelujah there is nothing good that we have done we know where God is brought in, has brought us from we know what we are going through that God has covered our mess it's God's grace Hallelujah. So guess what? Sister Dorina, see an unsaved beside you. Hold her and claim her for the Lord. You're going to look for the unsaved in this sanctuary tonight. And we're going to claim each and every one. None should be left. We don't need to wait for an altar call. The Holy Ghost. And depend on Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's us worship him. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we love you tonight, Lord. We praise and we magnify your great name. There is none like you, Jesus. We praise and we magnify your great God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heaven is better than this. Oh, my, what joy and bliss. On the streets of shining gold. In that land where we never go. It's better than this Oh my, what joy and bliss I love the preaching and the testimony to God Heaven is better than
Hallelujah. Praise God. I, I love, I love what I see here tonight. I love what I see here tonight. God bless you, my sister, Lorna. Praise God. Good to have you. Praise God. And those people that are visiting, you might be coming here for the very first time. Praise God. I'm going to get a deacon Bailey to come and to, to greet you in a little while. But I, I, just, I just let you know that it just feels so good having you here tonight. Praise God. You know, tonight a lot of people are... All right. Okay. God bless you. You may be seated. Because there's some people sitting down. You look like you want to sit down. That's all right. I'm never ready for you to sit down yet. You know? Because guess what? You see, tonight, we, we, we come to have our New Year's Eve ball. Maybe it's the very first time you're coming to one of our services. But when you come to our service, we, we have New Year's Eve ball. And some place you go, you pay a lot of money, but you don't pay no money when you come here. You just come with your praise and your worship. And some people said, I'm going to ring out the hole here and ring in the new one. Hallelujah. So when you come, we just come to worship God. Hallelujah. All we want you come with a praise. And if you walk with an offering, don't think we're not going to take it from you. We will take it from you. Praise God. But we want you to come first and foremost with a praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me just call Deacon uh, Bailey to come and to greet everyone, all our visitors, our saints alike. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Isn't God good to give us so many blessings? I'm deserving, that's what we are. Oh my God, morning by morning, new mercies we receive. Can we just lift our hands right now and give him glory? One songwriter said he could have let me die in my sleep last night. But because of his grace, I'm still alive. Hallelujah. Just one more day. Praise the Lord again, somebody. You know, we're about to close out 2014. You know, and I, as I sat in my seat, you know, I began to think. And, and, I'm, and I'm not sure, even though I'm here in the house of God, that I will live to see 2015. I've heard of ministers preach the word and fell down and die. And we are not sure if Christ will put in his appearance before 2015 comes. Praise the Lord, somebody. But for those who know Christ, we have this assurance that if we die now, the scripture says, for me to die is gain. And if Jesus Christ should put in his appearance, I know that I'll be caught up to meet him in the here. And so I want to ask the unsaved tonight, you're here without the Holy Ghost. If death should come, if the rapture should come, where would you stand? As I sat there, it, it came to my mind. Some 17 years ago, this time, you know, I was getting ready. Go to the party or to the dance. But tonight, I'm here in the house of God, and I want to give him thanks for that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I just feel like encouraging somebody. You know, I feel like tonight is somebody's night. I feel like somebody is going to leave your change tonight. You know, you, you, you want to make a New Year's resolution. But you're in the right place at the right time. And you're here tonight and you're visiting with us. You're not a member. I'm going to invite you to stand right now. We want to we wanna identify you. Amen, amen. You're not a member. You're visiting. Amen, saints. Let us put our hands together for them.
Amen. Amen. No, remain standing, please. You know, on behalf of the entire membership of this church, Pay Chapel, we say thank you for coming tonight to worship God with us. We know that there's a blessing with your name written on it. All you need to do tonight is believe God. And when the altar call is made, you come, is make, you come to the altars. Praise the Lord. Can I see you just lift your hands? Every visitor, just lift your hands and wave them to the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We welcome you, we welcome you, we welcome you. We love you, we appreciate you for coming out. Um, I'm going to ask the, the saints to greet the visitors. The song says, I could have died in my sleep last night. Let us leave our seats and greet the visitors and greet each other.
So listen now. No matter what, you have a wall on. Ha! Huh. I feel like traveling on. I feel like traveling on. I feel like traveling on. My heavenly homes are bright and fair. I feel like traveling on.
just feel so nice to worship God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, when we come and we worship God like this, you know, we don't have a fret about no gunshot and no stampede. Hallelujah. Praise God. And anybody burn with shirt or, you know, you, 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 you dress with them cigarette. Eh? Or no, you know, smell no, no weed, scent and all them kind of thing there. That's where we're coming from. Hallelujah. That's where we, that's, that's the life we're coming from. And we're not going back there. No hangover. My Jesus. No hangover. Clean. Fresh praise. And when you leave here, you feel different. My friends, if you are here tonight, going into 2015, I know that many people want 20, you know, the new year to find them in church and not in your bed. But my friends, you make resolution every year. And as January comes in, you break it. But I encourage you tonight, make Jesus your choice. Make your calling and election sure. And friend, if you ever give him a chance in your life tonight, you'll never regret. The only regret you'll have is that you never do it before. God bless you. Hallelujah. There are things that man can do. He can sail through the air. Yeah in his place but though man can do a lot of things yeah. man he is limited there are things that man can do he can say
climbed up to the highest yeah. mountain. Looked all around, couldn't find nobody. Went down into the deepest valley. Looked all around down there, couldn't find nobody. And went across the deep blue sea, couldn't find one to Bless you, praise team. Nobody greater right here. So good to see you, man. You're sharp like gillet blade. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's my co-worker there, man. I feel so good when I see him walking at the place, man. Hallelujah. Usually, I know say him and Sister Ramsey would have walked into the Pegasus Ballroom. But now they walk into Faith Chapel Hall. The Liberty Hall. Hallelujah. Sister Mattox, come give me about 10 minutes of worship. And if the Holy Ghost tell you, just go on a little more, no problem. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Everybody smile. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Lift your hands and magnify the Lord. I want upstairs to stand on the balcony and wave your hands. Wave your hands, wave your hands, wave your hands, wave your hands, sit. This side stand and wave your hands, wave your hands, wave your hands, sit. This side stand and wave your hands, sit. This side stand and wave, sit. This side stand, sit. That side, well, stand up, wave your, sit. This side, come on. That side, what? Wave your, this side, wave your hand. That side, this side, wave your, that side, this side, this side. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! This is the house of God! Hallelujah! 
give me a hallelujah shout? Somebody stand up and stamp their feet. Somebody shake a hand. Hallelujah. Somebody shout a praise. Hey. Holy, 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 holy. Lord God Almighty. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Is there any construction workers here? Let me see you stand because we're going to build some bridge. We're going to build some bridge. We're going to... Construction workers, where are you? Okay, we're going to build some bridge. We're going to build some bridge. Anybody who can write plan? Anybody who can write plans? No plan writer here? We're going to build some bridge. So we have any electrical worker? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Any waterman? Any fireman? Hallelujah. Stand up, let us see you. Because we're going to build some bridge. I'm building a bridge. Oh, Lord God, you gave me the plan. Hallelujah. Gave me a book.
side you're gonna back. Hallelujah. And this side, we're gonna give them this. Hey, come on. Jesus' name, so sweet. Every rock, bend. Yes, come on. Back. Do your thing, man. Every bend. Hey, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Hallelujah. Do it again. Trying 
So I'm going to do something simple, you know, Sister Marsha. Simple. All you say, amen. 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 convert. If I ask her to testify, you'd have vexed with me? All right. Don't you want to hear the testimony? Sis, Sister Angie, come testify. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I know what prayer can do. 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 I know what prayer can do.
is so good. I know that God is good and God is real. Yes, I wouldn't be here tonight. Because I was going to work this morning. And the car was driving just the, the, the um the brake just burst off. Burst off. And when I say when I said to my son, say, son, you know, see the gas pedal, but no, no brake, no brake. And when I look, I see at um people on the street and was driving coming. And how what I did, I said, I just stop it in a, a column, a little column. And I said, This is it. And when I come out, my son started to cry. And I said, Don't cry. He said, Thank you, Jesus. Because it could be worse. God was here and God is the one that saved me today. He said, I wouldn't be here tonight. So God is real and He's good. And I love God. And if I didn't come to church tonight, I couldn't sleep. I party the car and I have to take a bus. I take two vehicles to come here tonight to give this testimony to know that God is so real and good. And I love him every day, every minute, every hour. I know that prayer, 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 come on, prayer changes things. the Lord everybody can we praise the Lord another time God is a wonderful God for those of you who don't know tonight that's my wife for the last 24 years but you know the other day I sat down at the back last Sunday and something came to me I've been saved now for I think it's about 27 years and I realized, I heard people talk all the time about bad hair and uh, bad times. And uh, yes, I've experienced some difficulty because this year I lost my sister. That's the only thing in my life that ever takes me unexpectedly. The only thing. Everything else in my life, I live before it happened. But that won't take me by surprise. But I realized that God has been good to me. And I realize that there is no failure when it comes to God. But the only thing we have in God is uh, some, some obstacles. And then we move on again. Because I realize that there are some things in my life that, that God has been so, so wonderful. Let me tell you something. I... I'm a person like this. I always challenge God. I always, I dream big. I think big. I think humongous. Because I believe in the scripture that said he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can think or ask of him. And when I sit down and I look, I remember sometime this year I have some challenges with um, my work. And I begin to look and I said, God, I try to do everything that is right. But yet still nothing keep happening. I try to do what is right and try to pay my tithes, but nothing happening. And uh, I sat down and something came to me and said, do you believe that you have failed or God has failed? And I said, I feel I have failed. But then it comes back to me. It said, you cannot fail as long as you trust in God. As long as you continue to reach out to God, you cannot fail. And let me tell you something, friend. You see, what I have been missing from the middle part of the year, come down, God has done it for me in one month. In this December month alone, God has done it for me in one month. And I am here to encourage somebody. Let me tell you something. If you want anything from God, just be faithful to him. Anything you want, I challenge you, pay your tithes. Pay your tithes. 
Because he said, when you give, when you bring food into my house, he will open what the windows of heaven that there will not be enough. Is there anything that you desire from God? Is anybody here that is having a challenge with their landlord of paying your rent? If you do have a challenge with your landlord in paying your rent, I challenge you to buy a gleaner. Look in there and spot a house that you want. And then you call the person and tell them you want them to write up a sales agreement. God is that type of a person. God is that type. I have some bills that I could not pay from the here start. And let me tell you, every single one of them pay today. Every single one of them pay today. And tell you what, I have extras. Listen, when I was paying my tithes last week, I said, I, I, I give my wife a little extra. And I said, I'm going to give God a little extra. And God have a way of returning it back. Because you see, you see, God multiplication is so humongous that he said, one shall chase a thousand. Two shall put ten thousand to flight. So I can't bother with how oh, oh, other people do one plus one equal that are two times that. No, I work with God things. So whatsoever I have, I'm going to invest it in God. Let me tell you, I'm going to just give you a little secret. I am talking to somebody about something that values $50 million. And yesterday a friend of mine called me and he said to me, what are your plans? And I was there telling him and he said, Tell me something, you can't find a little 50 million dollars for, do, for buy something. I say, you know, say yes, can I have you right beside me that can do it? But let me tell you something, friend. You see this God that we serve? I would encourage you, stop looking at your situation as failures. With God, you have no failure. We have a God that is bigger than our problem. And I encourage you, anything, listen, anything, remember now, it's, he can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can do what? Think or act. So let me tell you something. We serve a God that is specializes in things that are impossible. And I heard one person said, he is the impossibleologist. And that's the kind of God we serve. I'm here to tell you, if God do it for me, he can do it for you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. It's a good thing that I pay my tithes and I put a little extra or else. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us stand tonight. Hallelujah. Let us just stand. Let us lift our hands. You know, God is a good God. God is a good God. Turn to somebody and tell God, God is a good, is a good, I wish I could find words to express. Oh, good. Oh, good. When you look at me, you see the goodness of God. Somebody say, I'm good, bad. You just can't find no words. There is no secret.
bless you tonight. You may be seated. It is no secret what God can do. And you're here tonight. He can do a lot for you. Even more than what you can even imagine. Praise God. Let me invite the choir, Page Chapel Choir, to come and to minister. Sang at this time. Can we praise the Lord, everybody? Come on, let me see the hands of all those that are glad to be in the house of the Lord tonight. Just lift your hands and wave it to the Lord. Come on, if you're glad to be in the presence of the King of Kings, lift your hands and wave it to the, to the Lord tonight. Praise the Lord. I'll put your hands down. I'm in the hands of all those that you had some struggles in 2014 that God helped you through. Come on, lift your hands. Anybody had some, anybody have a testimony tonight? Oh, God brought them through some difficult times in 2014. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, turn to your neighbor. Hold on, Mother Keza. Take it down just a little bit. I want, I want you to turn to somebody, turn to anybody and tell them I'm still here. Come on, tell the person that I'm still here. Listen to me. Listen, the, the devil would have killed some of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me to the hands of all those that had chick V. Put up your hand, man. You know what? You know what? People died from chick V in 2014. But guess what? I'm still here. Hallelujah. 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 For some of us, then, the gunman hold us up. Anybody have been ever held up by a gunman? Stand up. Stand up to your feet. You can say you're still here. Yeah. Every single hands of all those that have been sick. Stand to your feet. You've been sick in your body. I mean, real, real sick. But you can testify tonight that I'm still here. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Sometimes when I think of the goodness of Jesus. And all that he's done for me, that perhaps.
our praise to the Lord, everybody. All over this building. What a difference is made. Oh, oh. 
if you care about it, touch your feet. We're going we're gonna to raise a praise in this house tonight. We're going to raise a praise in this house tonight. Touch your feet, somebody. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me see the hands of all those that know that every praise belongs to God. Every word of worship. Come on, let's get on one accord tonight. Lift your hands and worship the King of glory as we sing every praise is to our God. Come on, everybody. Shall we praise the Lord? Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Let's still praise the God. Oh, we praise you. Praise every praise is to our God. We want to worship. 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 We
Musicians stay right there. Oh my God, have mercy on us tonight. I want us all to sing that testimony one more time. And when I look back and see where God has brought me from, it's been a mighty long way from where I used to be. Not yet perfect. I'm not there as yet. But God has brought me out. He's brought me, Sister Marsha, from a mighty long way. Can we all sing a part one more time? God, my Savior, God, my healer. Let me hear you sing. God, my Savior. Everybody sing. God, my healer. You sound good. God, my deliverer. God, my finished tonight not finished with my worship yet not finished with my praise yet the psalmist David says praise waiteth for thee I have yet to thank God for some things that he has been doing in my life I started to you know but I can't finish that's just how good God has been to me amen Amen. Amen. Praise God. Tonight we're just testifying together. Amen, everybody. British songs, don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Same song. Same song. That song says, every praise is to our God. The praise that you started thanking God and giving God last week. But before you could finish that praise, he did something else. I just start praising him for that too. 
One person said before they could finish praying, God answered the prayer by the baby. I'm going to stop almost, stop praying that prayer and start giving God thanks for that. And guess what? I know for many of us here, all of us here, we're believing God for some things in 2015 before our life is spared. I'm believing God for some things in 2015. He's still working on me to make me what I ought to be. He's working on me to put me where I should be. And I want to praise God at least a little bit for that tonight too. Amen? Is that all right? Let's sing that song one more time. Every praise, everybody come. Two, three, every praise. Every praise is to our God. Every word is one accord. I'm not the preacher, yeah? I'm not the preacher. I was talking to a brethren of mine just this week, and he said, but I've got some things just not right in my life. But guess what happened? I found out that stressing about it, not fixing it. The more I worry, is the more the problem is there. The more headache I have, the problem just stand in my face like, so what are you going to do now? And he said, boy, he wants to change his posture and his position not worrying and stressing and wondering what, what is going to happen. But he said, God, I'm believing you. Here's an opportunity for me to see you working in my life. So God, by faith, I'm going to stand and praise you for my problems. I praise God for the problems in my marriage. I praise God for the problems with my finances. But the Mattox, I'm not there yet. But I'm praising God for my unpaid bills. Because guess what happened? Every situation is an opportunity, not a problem. An opportunity to see God work in your life. What do you have to do? Praise God for it. Bless God at all times. His praise, David said, shall continually be in my mouth. If I see my problems, I'm like, oh my God. What I'm going to do now, Jesus help. But that simple phrase, Jesus, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, great God of heaven, the Lion of Judah that breaks every chain. Jesus, I'm calling on you, Jesus. Help me, God. No other help, no other strength, no other deliverer, no other healer do I know. When you call on him, he answers. Can I get a witness? When I call on him, he answers. Oh my God, help us tonight. We're going to be praising God tonight. Can we praise God tonight? Can we praise God tonight? We're going to praise him for our children who are giving problems. Praise him for your spouse that you don't see eye to eye with. Praise God for the job that you are still seeking for. Hear my Jesus. Praise God for the host that you're still looking for. Praise God for the landlord who is giving you problems. Praise God for the job that's kind of topsy-turvy right now. Praise God for the school fee you don't find us yet. Praise God for your unsafe parents. Praise God for your neighbors. Praise God for your brothers, your sisters, your fathers, your mothers. God my Savior, sing. God my
heart of God. Every praise. Can I invite those who are not standing and you're not sick and you're not holding a baby, a baby rather, can I invite you to stand? We have sung his praises. We've worshiped God. We're almost in 2015. What a good God. And comes now to hear from him in another way through the preacher. This time, I'm going to be asking to come and to speak to us as if he's led. Pastor Richards and the Holy Ghost. God bless him as he comes. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Okay. I was hoping that Brother Andre would just go on and on and on and on and on and on. I want to greet you in the name of Jesus Christ tonight. There's no other name like that name. Mr. Clark. I didn't want you to talk to me, but I was praying that. <laughs> I was praying. I was praying that I didn't come up here. I want to greet everybody in the name of Jesus Christ. Forgive me, I'm trying to put myself together. Uh, for those persons who have been helping us out over by Ascot, we want to say thank you. Especially for those persons who visited us and those who were at the street service, I didn't get a chance to say thanks. I'd like to say thank you now. Thank you for your support. Praise God. Oh, God. Let me see if I can just short this. Um, Acts 10, verses 5. Praise God. Let's read down there. Praise God. And now send men to Joppa and call for one Simon, whose surname is Peter. He lodged with one Simon, a tunner whose house is by the seaside. He shall tell thee what thou oughtest to do. God bless you. You may be seated. Praise God. We're just a few minutes away from the new year. And my message to you is, God will. Can everybody say, God will? Praise God. He said, he said to Cornelius, send men to Joppa for one Simon Peter, and he will tell you what you ought to do. So God will. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God will. Ah, I'm kind of, kind of homesick. For a country, Mr. Marshall, will you help me? That I've never been before. No sad goodbye. Oh, Jesus. Will be spoken. Oh, Hallelujah. And time won't matter oh, anymore. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beulah. Worship God. Where my faith Hallelujah. shall land inside. 
Worship God, worship God. Then I come on, somebody lift your hands, worship God. Forget about me. My heavenly fly. Oh Jesus. You love. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know. The, the, the anointing is in this place. The anointing is in this place. Hallelujah. The anointing is in the house. The anointing is in the house. You see... Cornelius did what he had to do. He did pray. But the scripture says his prayer became an arm before God. God had to recognize his prayers and his arm. I don't know about you, but I, I wish to God that God could say the same thing about somebody in this place tonight. Somebody who has walked through this door. You just came because you want to be in the house of the Lord tonight. But has God recognized you? Has God said something to you tonight? Specific, like he said to Cornelius. His words were very clear. He says, hey Cornelius, you better get down to Joppa. Send somebody. You are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are a man of authority. And so you've got to get somebody to find the preacher. His name is Peter. It, the Lord is clear. I don't know about you. But every time God wants us to hear something, he sends a word. He sends a word. Somebody tonight, he's sending a word. You need to find the word that he has sent to you. Peter was Cornelius' preacher. And when Peter came to Cornelius' house, Cornelius made himself ready to hear and to receive from the man of God what he had to offer. Is there somebody who came into church tonight with a purpose? Let me tell you what you came for tonight. Peter said to Cornelius, Hey, 
You are a man of God because you have given. But there is something that is lacking in your life. So all the giving that you have been given, yes, that is good, eh, Cornelius? I don't know who you are tonight. But you have been very kind. But something is missing in your life. Yes. Your heart is compassionate. You have a heart of a kind person. You have a heart that desires God. But there is more to just having a heart. More than just having a heart tonight that desire God. What you need is to get God into your heart. For a while, Peter preached that day. Something happened. All of Cornelius' house received the word that was preached. I'd like to say to somebody tonight. If you are here and you have not yet repented of your sins, then you need to repent tonight. You need to say, God, I am sorry for the sins that I have done. Yes, I have been kind, but God, I recognize that I need to repent of my sins. I need to turn to you tonight, God. And there is something more. You don't just stop at repentance. But when you repent of your sins, you need to wash those sins away. And I like to tell you how you wash it. You got to be immersed in water. We call it baptism. But not just any old baptism. Hey, calling, Peter said, calling on the name of Jesus. For there is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved but the name of Jesus Christ tonight. So if you have not yet taken on the name in baptism, the pool is there. What is here? Hey, one man, when Philip finished preaching to him, he says, here is water. What do it end of me to be baptized tonight? Water is here. You can be baptized in the wonderful name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You can be baptized in the name of Jesus. But it doesn't stop there. You know, sometimes when you, when, when you, when you repent and sometimes you, you know, you're baptized and you feel good. I can tell you I've been there. You feel good after you have been baptized because you feel that every burden hallelujah being washed away as it were and taken from you. But there's another stage. God has a part to play. Man will lead you to repentance. Oh, man will baptize you. But only God can fill you with his spirit. So don't leave here tonight without getting the spirit of God. The scripture said they heard them speak with tongues as the spirit of God give utterance. So I don't care why you came. I know why you came. You came because you need to hear how to be saved. And you cannot say you didn't hear it. Hey, you are without excuse because you have heard it on the day of Pentecost. When they were picked in their heart, they said, men and brethren, what shall we do? The same old Peter got up and said, repent every one of you. And be baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The message is the same tonight. The same message Carnelius heard is the same message that you are hearing tonight. You must repent. You must repent. Don't leave here and think everything is okay. Unless you repent, this could be said you're going to all likewise perish. So if you are here tonight and you are not saved, then you need to be saved. You need to be saved. Oh, God always makes an opportunity for those to be saved. I could tell you stories upon stories. One woman came and she wanted something from the Lord. And, and, and the Lord gave her a little hint. He said, door simple. I can't give. 
the children's bread to the dog. And a lot of people would have get upset, but the Lord was just giving a little hint. I can't give bread to dog, but every one of us knows something happened to bread. It have a way of crumbling. So crumbs will drop. So they said, hey, Lord, you're telling me something? You can't give me bread, but you didn't say you can't give me crumbs. So you might come here tonight and you might say, I don't think I can get this thing. Yes, my friend, even if it's the crumbs, run after it tonight. The crumbs can make a difference. Are you maybe in a position where you're afraid to come down or you can't come down because your, 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 your sin and your sickness and your disease and whatever has been on you for so long. Then I will tell you about a man who was there for 38 years. And every time when the water was troubled, it's not the first time so when you come into church, you know. It's not the first time. But every time somebody gets it before you, but tonight it is personal. What will thou have me to do? Will thou be made whole tonight? Yes, it's a personal thing tonight. We got in personal. Hey, the man was making this. He said, every time the water is troubled and I try to go, somebody go before me. I don't have nobody to help me. But tonight, hey, you are here. There is nothing hindering you tonight. There's nothing hindering you. The altars are here tonight for those who will come. Repentance is there for those who will make their altar a broken and a contrite heart. My God will not despise. If you will confess your sins, the Lord will hear you. But if you don't confess it, then you're going to die in your sins. I like to tell you tonight, just like how he sent Oh, Cornelius, to get Peter. The word of God is here for you tonight. You have been invited here. I don't know who invited you. Maybe you just heard about the church. Or maybe somebody gave you a special invitation. What was it all about? To come down to Faith Chapel. Because tonight you're going to hear how to be saved. He'll tell you what you ought to do. So let me get out of the way. But one more time, let me remind you. You must repent of your sins. It's not a maybe. It's a must. You must repent of your sins. You must be baptized in the name of Jesus. And he will fill you with the Holy Ghost. God bless you in Jesus' name. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a short word, but it's a profound word. And it's a true word. I said it's a true word. And when truth is being preached, people must receive it with joy. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Glory. You must receive it with joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The altars are open tonight. Truth is coming your way. Truth is walking down your street. Hallelujah. Truth is coming to your house. Thank you for coming. Let us clear the area. Come on, hushers. Hasten your steps. Hallelujah. Truth is coming to your house. Hallelujah. Truth is coming to your house tonight. It's not about resolutions. It's about knowing Jesus for yourself. It's about having a relationship 
with him. Truth is coming. Truth is coming. The anointing will break the yoke in your lives tonight. Because Jesus is here. Hallelujah. Come on. There are many persons on the balcony. There are many on the outside. There are many in the back. Truth is coming to your house. This truth no one can deny. No one can deny this truth. Regardless of who you are. Come on somebody. We need some space in the area. I'm calling you to come. To truth. I'm calling you to truth tonight. Nobody leave. Nobody move. Because truth is here. Hallelujah. 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 Robo Shatoria Kasata. Rekete Kondia Masahandara Mahondi Osaha. Kendere Bosa. Rekete Kondia Mahate Yamahandaba. Robo Bobo Bosa. Kendere Bosa. Kiyama Mama Sata. Kondore Bosa. Ushara Mama Sendere Bo. Reketa Masahaya. Reta Maha Kontia Moho. Redo Boshe and Moho. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I lose you into righteousness. I lose you into truth. I command the Spirit of God to come upon you by the power. In Jesus' name, loose her and let her go for your glory. For your name's sake, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I said, truth is here. Come and get it. Truth is here. Come and get it. You must be born again. You must get it. Don't sit there. In the name of Jesus, release. Come on. Wherever you are in this congregation, on the balcony, get yourself down here. If you have not yet received the Holy Ghost, get yourself here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Robo satamaha. Hallelujah. If you have not yet baptized in the name of the Lord, come, 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 come. Repentance is a must. Baptism in Jesus' name is a must. In filling of the Holy Ghost is a must. Robo Shatoriaba. Hallelujah. Come on. This is something that every man must have. Halibo Shando Mohundo Moho. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't sit there. Don't sit there. This is it. Where's the gun? This is definitely it. Hallelujah. You can't find it anywhere else. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Jesus, halt the workers. Find your positions. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. There's still room at the cross for somebody else. There's still room for somebody else. You need healing, it is here. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody, come on, somebody. There's still somebody else. You are sitting there and the Lord is speaking to your heart and you are hardening your heart and you are saying, I'm not coming but I beseech you by the mercies of God. Come! Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus. My pleasure, sir. Hallelujah. I greet the angels of the Lord. My Hallelujah. heart is full Jesus. of sorrow. Hallelujah. Is there one more person? I can't believe how much. One more person. I said, Jesus, I'm willing down. to give it all. 
Come on, minister that the word. Help us to pray in the name among the people. Come that on. waits for me. Hallelujah. Tomorrow. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. The anointing break the yoke here tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My anointing break the yoke here tonight. Anointing break the yoke here tonight. Anointing break the yoke here tonight. Haba Baba Kashanda Mahadaba. Anointing break the yoke here tonight. Break the yoke tonight, Jesus. I need your grace. Break the yoke, break the yoke, break the yoke, break the yoke, break the yoke. Break every yoke. Break every yoke, break every yoke. Hallelujah. Mercy and truth kiss each other tonight. Hallelujah. Come on. Until my time. Touch, touch. Come on, somebody. We are my health workers. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Touch, touch. Sing it, sister. Sing it, sister. Hallelujah. Touch. My heart is full Break. of sorrow. Every yoke. Break. Every yoke. Break every yoke tonight. Hallelujah. I've let you down. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Break every yoke. I tread the Break every yoke. Young man. That waits. The Lord is calling you to repentance. Tomorrow. Hallelujah. Jesus. He's when calling you to repentance. He's calling you to repentance. He's calling you to repentance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's calling you to repentance. Please church, forgive church, me. pray. Come on, church, pray. I need your grace to make Hallelujah. It All I have Hallelujah. I'm at your mercy. Sir, right now, shackles and chains, fetters, familiar spirits, hindering spirits in the name of the Lord. We come out oh, to go right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on. Lord, come I on. Need your grace to make Hallelujah. Through. Every familiar spirit right now. Right now, my boy. Every familiar spirit. Every guy about the force right mercy. now. Go. Go. Every familiar Lord, spirit. Oh, 
At the well, I was seeking for things that could not satisfy. Father, in the name of Jesus. But then I hear my Savior calling. Draw from the well that never shall run dry. Come on, we must run right now. Like the woman. Speak to the living water within her. At the well. I was seeking Comfort. for things that could not satisfy. But then I heard my Savior calling draw from the web. That you never Come on. shall Come on. run dry. Oh, like the woman. Everything uh, will go. Right now. Right now. Right now. I was seeking for things Come on, open your mouth. that could not open your mouth. satisfy. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Shut up. But then. I hear my Savior calling. It's a draw from the wind that never shall run dry. Oh, like the woman. I speak to you. I speak over your life. I was seeking. I command the water, the rough seas. Oh, for things that could not come into the sea. Salvation will come. That everything that is saved under God, under the God, will come to pass. Jesus called me. I pray the prayer of faith over you now. He said, draw. Draw from the well. In the name of the command, in holy hands. That never shall run dry. Magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord. So fill my heart. Magnify the Lord. Come on. I lift me up, Lord. Magnify the 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 Lord. Oh. 